Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new Apple M1 chip and just share some ideas and thoughts about the new chip. Now, I did a video about Apple versus Windows a couple of weeks ago. Those videos are always fun to make. Some very interesting comments on, on that video. I will link in the, I'll have a link in the description to that video. Uh, I think it will provide some kind of context. We are looking uh, at the most powerful desktop CPUs on the Passmark site. This list usually contains a whole bunch of AMD chips right at the top, the most powerful by far uh, right now. And then we have a bunch of Intel chips. But what's really interesting this year, if we go down the list, and th these are all high-end chips, right there for the first time I can recall there's an Apple chip, it's the Apple M1 chip. And what I want to do is take a little bit of a closer look at the performance. That was total, total all core performance. This is single thread performance. This is where the gamers come to compare the chips. Apple M1 core has got the fastest single thread performance of all the chips. It's beating the high end Intel Core i9s is beating the Ryzen 9 5900s. That's kind of amazing. Not only have they brought out a powerful chip, they've brought out the chip with the fastest single thread performance. It's quite an achievement. For some kind of context, the PC which is recording this video, which is going to be processing this video in Premiere Pro, it's, an, it's running an AMD Ryzen 5 1600. That came out a few years ago. The score for that one is 12,300. The power draw is 65 watts. This is a powerful chip. It can do a lot. When we look at the Apple M1, it's higher in terms of overall performance, the highest in terms of single thread performance. But look at the TDP. 15 watts. That's the kind of TDP I would expect on an iPad or a laptop. And in fact, they are using this chip in the iPad, in the iPad Pro, and also on their laptops. So th this is kind of amazing. I mean, in terms of performance, single thread performance, it's amazing. In terms of the power consumption, it's mind blowing. I've not ever seen anything quite like this. Now, last year, I was focused on Intel versus AMD because there was a big rivalry going on there. That's when Apple came out with this new chip. And initially, you know, it kind of like slid past. I didn't see how significant it was. But when you look at these numbers, what really fascinates me now is what is their graphics performance? Because the chip, it's a system on a chip design. It's like the, the chips you find in mobile phones, in the smartphones. Everything is on one uh, circuit. The CPU, the graphics memory, everything is closely integrated. That explains part of the performance we're seeing. But if the energy consumption for the CPU is this low, what kind of, what are they doing with the graphics? Is the performance there sky high as well? Or is it, are they, how, <laughs> I don't know. I would like to see some of the graphics performance. Guys, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the video there. I mean, you can tell I'm surprised, but this is, this is amazing. This is the kind of thing that happens very, very occasionally. I'm going to leave the video there. Feel free to comment if you want to. I'll have a link to the previous video in the description and I will see you guys maybe a little bit more uh, relaxed in the, in the next video. Till then, take care. See you later.